Child safety experts are urging parents to think twice before allowing a baby to sleep in slings and hammocks. They warn there's a high risk a child will suffocate. Isabella Robinson has more. Heather Collar is expecting her second child. She knows the anxieties parents go through when babies are sleeping. My son was quite small when he was born and I'd just be worried that he'd get lost in that material. She's also concerned about the dangers of some products on the market. After two babies died in Australia while in slings, KidSafe is urging parents of newborns and preemie babies not to use them or hammocks. It is alarming and there's been more than a dozen deaths in the US. One product which claims to be suitable for newborns is even marketed to be used as a hammock. You've got a lot of fabric, you've got a, um, there's no firm solid sleeping mattress at all and, uh, and they're just curled up so the, the, the risk is very, very high. In America, slings have been added to a list of durable infant products that require mandatory standards. New Australian standards for cots and mattresses will be out next month. The Office of Fair Trading says the firmer the better, but they won't include hammocks or slings. Because the surface is not firm, it's a soft sleeping surface, that does present some challenges because there's so many ways that the product could be used unsafely. KidSafe says pouches like this one that hold the child upright are one safe option. It comes down to common sense and, you know, like being very aware of your baby. And making parenting an enjoyable experience for all. Isabella Robinson, 10 News.